Thank you very much, moderator. Very good morning, Excellency, distinguished guests, very gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I would like to take this opportunity to sincerely thank the organizer to invite the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry to share and to be here and to share with you some information uh, about the agriculture development in the past and also vision for the future. So, actually, is that, uh, the agricultural strategy to the year 2025 has been formulated in a large language. Uh, so, this presentation has been uh, unofficially translated. So, I'm sorry for if some word is not quite clear, and also my English is still very poor. Sorry for that. And uh, basically, and principally, uh, the government has endorsed this uh, strategy. And right now, uh, we still under revising and to be, uh, after officially endorsement by the government, will be translated uh, into English and distributed uh, to the, will be distributed to the own stakeholders. Uh, actually, the strategy has uh, five chapters, very long. So I just uh, have been uh, informed yesterday evening to prepare for the presentations, and I try to I try to pick it up the main points to share with you. This is the this slide show the the general profiles of the country. As you may know, the Lao very low cooperation consists uh, of uh, forty nine uh, different ethnic uh, groups. Twenty percent of its terrain is mountainous. Climate is tropical monsoon. Uh, raining season starting from May until uh, October, and cool and dry season from November to February. Uh, hot dry season is uh, March and April. So uh, if you know about the Lao traditions in the Lao year to be held in uh, <coughs> mid of April every year. So in terms of land. So total land areas of Laos is about 23.68 million hectares. Uh, among these, total agricultural lands is about, this is the plan for the uh, 2020, about 4.5 million hectares, uh, which consists of uh, area, area for lands for rice, about 2 million hectares. Uh, but right now, the current rice fields are about almost 1 million hectares. Uh, the potential for expansion is about 1 million hectares, uh, roughly. And land for crops, about 1.7 million hectares. And land for livestock, about 0.7 million hectares. This is the graphic show the lands shown in in the whole country, as you can see, right now, uh, by the year 2020, so we try to increase the fresh cover into the uh, up to the 70 percent of the total land areas, uh, or about uh, 16.5 million hectares. And uh, land for agriculture is about uh, 19 percent, and also the other lands about 11 percent. This is the Agriculture land zoning for 2020. Uh, as you can see, I have just now mentioned. This is a uh, this slide. Uh, just uh, I would like to show you the driver of the European transport system for access to the market in the greater sub regions, sub mekong regions. Uh, this is the linkage in terms of the uh, access to the market. So the general background. Uh, after the independence and establishment of Lao PDR, so at the first time, during that time, uh, Lao was not enough to produce rice. There are very few infrastructure in terms of the agriculture. So after that, the government has a new policy, let's say the open door policy. 
I guess by the decisions of La People Revolution, the uh, Revolutionary Party Conference number nine, and uh, also the in the number six, I remember that the, the government open door policies uh, and uh, turn into the market uh, economic system. So, uh, however, existing the. Uh, Party contest has also uh, given the direction for agriculture, such as development of integrated agriculture, ensure national food security through sustainable and green agriculture, enhancement of high potential agricultural production, industrialization and modernization of agriculture through applying new technology. Rezoning of land and continuing land allocations for agriculture production and resetting the agriculture production structure, and so on, in order to contribute to the to fulfill the main targets of the government policies on the pilots of three things. This is the uh, the, the government uh, policies, the pilot policy, pilot project. Let's say the pilot project. That's uh, the name is three bills, three bill policy. One is a bill yeah. province to be as a strategic unit. Second is bill district to be as strengthened in all aspect unit. And also bill village to be as development unit. So right now, uh, in order to achieve the, 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 the national goal, the, uh, agriculture and forestry sector has. Made many effort to uh, implement our own uh, strategy. Uh, this slide I just would like to show you uh, about the role of agriculture. Uh, in the 2012, agriculture contributes about 26 percent of GDP, uh, not include the forest. No forest. Uh, with growing rates about 2.3 percent per year. This is focusing on only the agricultural production. Uh, uh, let's say the Laos is an agricultural country. 80% of population is engaged in agricultural activity. Mostly is small farmer. Rice is the main crop, especially is in the lowland areas along the Bikum corridor. Upland rice and other crop as well as uh, non timber fresh product are also important in many farmers and poor people in other areas, especially in the mountainous area. This slide just uh, would like to uh, share with you about the organization structures of the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry. Uh, some achievement in agriculture, as I just now mentioned, that uh, uh, agriculture contributes about uh, more than 20 percent or 3.3 growing rates. Uh, in 2012, we have produced uh, about 3.5 million tons of hot rice, few rice, and other crops. So I will not go for more details about these information because of uh, I, I thought that the help out I have uh, given to the organizer, maybe they may speak to the, to you later, and. As uh, you know, right now there are some change in terms of uh, in uh, agriculture, Lao agriculture. So in the past times, uh, most uh, small farmers focusing on rice production, but right now they change into others. Uh, uh, apart from the uh, domestic cash crop, and also there are some cash crop that's been introduced uh, in the Laos right now. Uh, for example, the rubber, maize, cassava. And Akabut, for example, three plantations, Eucalyptus, Acacia, and so on. And also, we are also facing the uh, competition in terms of land use planning right now, or land use, land use, land utilization. For example, the mining hydroelectric cities, and the infrastructure also. Uh, I, it it means that uh, right now, uh, most of the investors uh, they need the land not only for the crops. Yeah. Right, production, but also for the other uh, uh, 
Ehrman activity as well. Uh, this is the uh, visions of our agricultural sector to the year 2025 2030 uh, to ensure national food security through sustainable, clean, and safety agriculture and build an agricultural production potential highly contributing to the national economy according to its objectives of industrialization and modernization in connection with rural development. This is our vision. This is perspective. Uh, the perspective. Party and governments of Latvia have recognized the agricultural sector as a fundamental to the industry and service sectors and the basis to support national economic growth. Uh, this slide is uh, quite long. This is the overall target. Uh, I will not go for more detail in this slide. This mentioned about the overall target of our uh, agricultural sector. Uh, the target to, to from now until uh, 2020 and also, also to, uh, to the year 2025 as well. So we see play. And this can be uh, uh, enhanced uh, into the uh, next uh, five year plan for our sector and to also the uh, national social economic development plan as well. Uh, the agriculture study we have set two main goals. One is a uh, uh, food production or food security. So this our target to the year uh, 2020 is a uh, to achieve food and nutrition security with people get to thousand six hundred to two thousand seven hundred kilocalories per person per day. Rice, vegetable, beans, sesame, fish, sugar, meat, fish, eggs, and so on. So we set, we have also set the target to the year 2020 uh, in terms of rice uh, to be reached uh, 4.7 million tons at least, about 30 percent. At an average, it really grows about uh, 5 percent. So this is include the uh, rights for domestic consumption. This is for right uh, uh, food security. So the visitor come to visit uh, Laos uh, uh, from the time to time until 2020. Rice for seed production about one one hundred and uh, thousand uh, thousand tons per year, and so on. So. Uh, in order to meet the areas, we talk them. Uh, we have this job with uh, international organizations, especially the FAO, food and agricultural organizations, uh, to come up with the need for the Lao people. Because of, uh, as you may know, well, uh, Lao people is very soft, right? We study. How to reach uh, one people get, uh, for example, 2,600 uh, kilograms per person per day, and what to be eat the way we have identified really and also for that kid, how much eat uh, crops, I mean food crops, uh, crops, rice and vegetable food and meat for example to, to be produced as a producer and processor. Uh, expected exports of right and cash crop that does uh, in Laos this uh, let's say the unique uh, what is of uh, corn and more others. So this is very unique stuff. And uh, also uh, the other crop as well. And also the local speed varieties as well. And other cash crop like uh, maize, uh, sugarcane, cassava, soybean, and other potential cash crop has been uh, uh, also set and identified. Right now, like a uh, rubber, uh, and also the Magnaman, I don't know how to find it into English. Uh, the Magnaman is what does it mean in English? <laughs> I don't know. So I will, I will answer the letters after I publish other cash crop as well. And also we have set the target until the 2025 as well.